Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on October 13th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our amazing sun. This is the last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Still observing a large plasma filament, northeast corner on our sun, as well as six sunspot regions. No major new CMEs thwarted towards Earth. And no major solar flares detected over the past 24 hours since last night's update. We are seeing an uptick in the solar winds, as expected from the coronal hole wind stream over 500 kilometers per second right now. So amazing images of our sun today. And again, and nothing major to report right here, right now. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Don't Please don't forget to smack that like button. Get in the comment section. Say hello to everybody in the, in the comments. Welcome everybody. 22 in here watching right now. Pretty quiet little live stream update for you having a look at our space weather conditions solar winds right now this is our magnetosphere showing the solar winds surrounding our planet and as well iswa space prediction spiral is showing a cme taking off towards the parker solar probe from the cresting side of our sun. Current space weather conditions sitting at 500 kilometers, over 500 kilometers per second, 507 to be exact, and no space weather conditions to report. Pretty quiet in the solar X-ray flux coming down in almost the B range. Solar X-ray flux slightly elevated, and that will get elevated here with our coronal hole wind stream. You can see the KP index jumped up a little bit as well, looking at a KP 3.5 earlier today. As well, looking at Alaska 3 version of our space weather events coming our way. Get a closer look here. We do have Mercury coming into view right here. Not after a CME gets blasted out towards it. No new major space weather events to report right now. Let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we did see an increase in earthquakes again, south of Australia. 6.0 earthquake ringing out early this morning, followed by a 4.5 magnitude aftershock. A couple deep earthquakes in the Tonga region, pretty deep as well. 565 kilometer depth activity through Papua New Guinea just recently. And as well, the Philippines reporting, oh, what magnitude is this here? Just have a quick look. Magnitude 5.2 earthquake in the Philippines, as well, lots of activities still, Afghanistan, Northern India. Also a couple notable earthquakes here, the Rick Janes Ridge, south of Iceland, southwest of Iceland, North Atlantic, seeing some activity there. Nothing major to report. South Sandwich Islands reporting a 5.3 earthquake, and as well, 4.5 there, Peru, Pretty deep, though, for the region, and, and nothing major to talk about across the United States right now. No major swarms. Notable and sizable earthquake here, 3.2. Uh, California towards the geysers, and as well a 4.1 here, when that looks like Mentone, Texas. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Give a quick look here at the last seven days for shakers across the world. There we go. We've had a pretty busy week, to say the least. Thank you all so much for watching and checking in tonight. Please don't forget the thumbs up.
and much love. We appreciate all of you being a part of this community and amazing journey that we're on. And that's the look at earthquakes. I have a quick browse here at the last 24 hours for weather. Put this satellite imagery into motion. We do have Typhoon Bugavan, who is still forecast heading towards the Aleutian Islands. Long range forecast heading uh, Alaska and the northern BC border. Other than that, no major tropical systems to talk about. We've got area of interest here, tropical storm. Sean looks like. And now let's have a look at the active and erupting volcanoes updated today. We've got Era in Japan, Ibu in Indonesia, Senge in Ecuador, Kluchevskoy in Russia, Semeru in Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego, Guatemala, and of course Stromboli volcano in Italy, which isn't even being reported here by the Pacific Disaster Center. 209 active hazards, and they did not update for the volcano eruption at Stromboli. Got Decono and as well Reventador in Ecuador. Popopicatitl in Mexico. Uh, Suez and Ajima in Japan. Mayan in the Philippines. But yeah, Stromboli had quite an eruption today. I saw a couple of videos of that eruption. Large pyroclastic cloud racing down the hillside of Stromboli. Looking at satellite imagery right now, things are going to be clearing across parts of western Canada. Huge cold high pressure ridge building in and low pressure center here across central United States is slowly getting torn up by that high pressure ridge. We were expecting a lot of rain tomorrow, but that has since diminished. And for our tournament tomorrow, it's going to be a little wet, but nothing like what they were forecasting. They were forecasting a lot of rain and wind. Looking around the rest of the world, still some pretty large systems here in North Pacific. And as well affecting Alaska, Northern BC. Look at the size of this low pressure system, Eastern Europe and Western Russia. I wanted to share here as well our air quality report. Looking across the world at SO2 forecast, sulfur dioxide. Lots of SO2 coming off of Kamchatka. Active volcanoes there. And as well, notable here coming off of Italy. SO2, new SO2 plume coming from the Stromboli volcano right here. Looks like Etna might be spewing some as well. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide. Thank you so much for watching and much love. God bless you all. Please don't forget to leave a like and maybe share with your friends and family from around the world. Maybe get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. Much love to you all. 44 in here watching. Have you all smacked that like button yet? Thank you so much. Hello, Don John. Hello, Rabbi. Hello, Valerian. Hello, Night Dad. How you doing, dude? Hello, Sweet Polly. Hello, Mary. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Cuban Mama. Welcome, everybody, to this Daily Do live stream, giving you an update. And in a few moments, we will be resuming the regular 24-7 earthquake live stream and then watch for about 9.30 for this stream to be uploaded to YouTube. And then a lot of people who did not get notified for this video hopefully will and will be able to see the video. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll give you a quick look at world weather as not much has changed since last night. Last night's update in regards to the systems that will be affecting us. But just looking at uh, tonight and into Saturday, big high pressure ridge here over Canada, low pressure center, Ontario. So in the morning, but this thing's going to be dipping south. So Ontario will probably be unscathed from this low pressure system, but 
interesting train of systems heading through the Pacific. Super Typhoon Boulevard, and as well as some pretty strong lows in the North Pacific, all penetrating the BC coastline in this long range forecast. Big snowy system here developing for Greenland as the polar vortex is setting up. And if you haven't seen that, please check out last, last night's video. We did give you a view of the upper level winds, southern pole or south pole polar vortex, and as well the north pole as it is setting up. Long range forecast, a lot of rain heading towards the BC coastline here. And as well, another system here in the East Pacific, tropical system by next Friday into Saturday. Looks like it might take that same trek that this most recent system did, jumping across Mexico and into the Gulf. As you can see, it's forecasted to grind right up the Mexican coastline here. And Europe. Not too much is changing in your forecast either. High pressure ridge moving in for Sunday, Monday for parts of the United Kingdom before another pretty strong system heads here towards Portugal. Totally inundates Spain. Low pressure center grinding the coastline there. Should be some interesting wave events along the coast there as well. Hope you enjoyed the show, everybody. Much love to y'all. I really appreciate y'all tuning in and as well subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. And if you aren't getting any of the updates or all of the updates, please just make sure that you're hitting that notification bell and set it to all so you're not missing an update. Because YouTube does like to shadow ban a little bit, especially to the channels who really want to share some important information with humanity. So now the earthquake live stream will resume. Again, thank you all. Much love. Good night. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye now.